Good morning, Richland High School. Thank you for viewing your TV. Today is Tuesday, September 16th. Tomorrow is Orange Day. Here's what's happening today. Best of luck to all sports teams playing today. Tuesday, September 16th. 3 p.m. marching band. 4 p.m. soccer boys junior high at Cambria Heights. 4 p.m. tennis girls varsity at Westmont Hilltop. 6 p.m. soccer boys varsity versus Bishop Carroll High School. 6 p.m. volleyball girls junior varsity at Somerset. 6.30 p.m. football booster meeting. 7 p.m. dryland workout. And 7.15 p.m. volleyball girls varsity at Somerset. The lunch menu for today is chicken alfredo over fettuccine. Student dismissal <coughs> times are as follows. Tuesday, September 16th, 2 o'clock junior high boys soccer, 215 varsity tennis, 445 JV volleyball. PSAT test. The PSAT test will be on October 15th. All juniors are required to take the PSAT test this year. Sophomores who are interested in taking the test can sign up in the guidance office until September 23rd. The cost of the test is $14. Homecoming dance tickets. Tickets for this year's homecoming dance will be on sale during homeroom. Tickets are $15 each. French Club. Attention French Club members. There will be a meeting tomorrow, September 17th at 7.10 a.m. in room C-105. Elections will take place for leadership positions and you must be <coughs> present to vote. Also, t-shirt entries are due Wednesday, September 24th. All entries should be given to Miss Sakira in B-112. Don't forget 7.10 in room C-105 tomorrow morning. GSA. GSA meeting in... Miss Myers' room on Wednesday until 4 o'clock. Today's 7th grade line soccer game will be between Team 3 and Team 4. Tomorrow's 8th grade line soccer game will be between Team 4 and Team 2. SH Forensics. Any students in grades 9 through 12 interested in joining the senior high forensics team should sign up in the cafeteria with Miss Miller as soon as possible. If you enjoy being dramatic, making others laugh, or sharing your opinions on controversial matters, forensics might be perfect for you. Physics Math Club meeting rescheduled. Attention students interested in joining Physics Club and or Math Club. The first meeting will be today directly after ninth period in Mr. Tukarski's room E110. Junior High Forensics. Any students in grades <coughs> seventh through ninth interested in middle school forensics, please sign up with Mr. Rancourt in the cafeteria. Scholastic quiz. There will be a scholastic quiz practice in Mrs. Meyer's room C2 C222 today from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock. First competition is Monday, September 22nd. Come when you can. 2015 senior class photo. The 2015 <coughs> senior class photo will be taken this Friday during fifth period in front of the school. Seniors should report to the front of the school after their fourth period classes. All students are required to wear red or blue for the photo. Girls basketball meeting. After all grades, all girls in grades seven through twelve that are interested in playing basketball this winter should meet in the athletic office at dismissal today for a brief meeting. SADS annual safe sofa contest. It's time for SADS annual safe sofa contest. The winner of the contest and two guests will sit on our safe sofa to watch a RHS football game on October 3rd at the Richland versus Johnstown football game. You will be served food from the concession stand by our SAD members. In order to win, post a sober selfie on Instagram and tag at RHS SAD. Place a caption that says, why you say no to destructive decisions. Have the photos posted by October 1st in order for a chance to win. See you at the game. Fellowship of Christian Athletes. There will be an FCA meeting on Friday, September 19th at 7 a.m. in the LGI room. Donuts will be provided. SAT cram session. Richland High School will be offering an SAT cram session for the math and reading prior to each scheduled SAT this school year. These cram session one, SAT reading with Ms. Sakura, room B117, <coughs> 9-26-14. Session two, SAT math with Mr. Tukarski, room E110-10-3-14. Students are encouraged to bring their school-issued iPad to cram sessions. JV football. JV football won 38 to 6 over Westmont. Trev Hardison let the <laughs> Tyler Zimmerman had a rushing touchdown and a two-point reception. Noah Wanko and Brian Abel also had a two-point conversion. Hogan Bowser had two extra point kicks. Ethan Dobbs had a rushing touchdown and a passing touchdown. Tim Ribble had a rushing touchdown, a passing touchdown, and he threw for two two-point conversions. 
weight room hours. Fall weight room hours are Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays after school until 4.30. Please see Ms. Miller with questions. 7th and 8th grade John Hopkins Talent Search. Talent search applications are available in the guidance office for grades 7 and 8 students who scored advanced proficiency on their 2014 PSSA tests. Please check the school bulletin for all announcements. And now for the weather. Good morning, Ram Nation. I'm Noah Glackey, Ram TV Chief Meteorologist. The high temperature today is 62 degrees and the low is 47. As you can see, it is raining. Looks like it's not going to stop raining. For 6 o'clock, the boys' soccer game, it's going to be about 58 degrees. You better bundle up, though. Go Rams. Hi, I'm here with your current events for September 16, 2014. A member of the militant group ISIS has warned via an online forum that the group will attack the United States along with other nations if they take action against the Middle Eastern organization. President Obama has sent 3,000 troops to assist in getting the Ebola outbreak in Libya under control. The soldiers will help construct health centers in the area and train the hospital workers in response to the World Health Organization's statement that the country needs hundreds of experts and thousands of workers to combat the disease. The Chinese president visited Sri, Sri Lanka on Tuesday to launch a port city project. The president plans to like create a modern silk road to bring his nation closer to Europe. That's it for your world news. See you tomorrow. In tragic news, the courtyard groundhog is dead. We do not know the cause of death right now but it does not look good. We expect a little bit of foul play involved. Uh, possibly there will be an autopsy done and we'll know later this week what the real cause of the death was. But now the family is requesting a moment of silence. Thank you. Tomorrow is the release of iOS 8 uh, for your iPads. And uh, what we're gonna do and how we're going to uh, roll this out is we are going to block the update in-house until October 1st but we encourage everyone to update uh, their iPads at home and after October 1st the release the software update release will be available in-house and we will help any student or any teacher uh, go through the update process if needed. We'll be able to track who has updated and who is not updated so uh, we d definitely encourage this and the reason why we're blocking it is so that uh, we don't uh, severely uh, impact our network uh, in-house and internet usage-wise uh, throughout the district. So, if anybody has any questions, please contact me. It's time to get served. Chili's Restaurant, 5 to 9, Girls Tennis, be there! Have a great day!